Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we will be solving this famous math puzzle. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to hit that like button. So we want to find some numbers that will fit these boxes. And in each case, the statement will be true. We have a number plus another number that will give us eight. A number minus another number that will give us 6. A number plus another number that will give us 13. A number plus another number that will give us 8. I think the best way is to represent each of these boxes with some letters. Unless otherwise, if you want to try trial and error. Okay. Let this box be x. This equal to y this a and this b let us form our system of equations here you can see that x plus y is equal to 8 a minus b is equal to 6 x plus a is equal to 13 and lastly y plus b is equal to 8. This is equation 1, equation 2, equation 3, equation 4. Let us first of all use these first two equations. In the first equation, we want to make x the subject. So from equation 1, you can see that x will directly be equal to 8 minus y when y crosses the equality sign. And I can call this one equation five. Then from equation two, we can make b the subject. b will now be equal to a minus six. b equal to a minus six. And let me call this one equation six. So we are going to substitute these two equations back to equation 3 and equation 4. You can see in equation 3 we have x, so wherever we see x we represent it with x minus y. So we have, instead of, okay let me rewrite it, x plus a equals 13. Instead of x I can write 8 minus y, then plus a equals 13. Let me simplify it. Uh, let me take 8 to the right, it becomes negative. We have negative y alone plus a. And to the right, we have 13 minus 8 minus y plus a will now be equal to 5. And let me call this one equation 7. Again, now let us put this equation into equation 4. Uh, you can see in equation 4 we have y plus b equals 8 but b from this equation is a minus 6 so instead of b i will write a minus 6 so we have y plus a minus 6 equals 8 let me continue the other side okay let me take this constant to the right it becomes positive so we have y plus a equals 8 plus 6. y plus a is now equal to 14. Let me call this one equation 8. Okay. Now we can solve equation seven and equation eight by elimination method. So let me bring my equation seven. We have equation seven minus y plus a equals five from equation seven. Then from equation eight, we have y plus a equals 14. Let me add these two equations together. Negative y plus y is zero, a plus a is to a and to the right we have 5 plus 14 which is equal to 19. 
So now to solve for a, we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of a, which is 2. So finally, a is equal to 19 over 2. Now, having obtained the value of a as 19 over 2, we can substitute it into this equation or this to obtain the corresponding value of y. So let me use this equation. You can see y plus a is equal to 14. Um, but a is equal to 19 over 2. So y plus 19 over 2 is equal to 14. We're going to take 19 over 2 to the right and it becomes negative. y is equal to 14 minus 19 over 2. And finally, y is equal to um, 2 times 14 is 28. And 28 minus 19 is 9. And we have 9 over 2 as the value of y. So a is 19 over 2, y is 9 over 2. Okay, let's come back here. We want to now find the values of x and b. We can use these two equations. Then for x, which is equal to 8 minus y, and y is 9 over 2. So x is equal to 8 minus 9 over 2. And x will now be equal to 2 times 8 is 16, then 16 minus 9 is 7, so we have 7 over 2 as the value of x. Let us use this other equation to find the value of b. So b is equal to a minus 6. b will now be equal to what is the value of a? a is 19 over 2 so we have uh, 19 over 2 minus 6 okay 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 19 minus 12 is 7 so we have 7 over 2 as the value of b so you can see a is 19 over 2 b is 7 over 2 x is 7 over 2 and y is 9 over 2 which we can now replace them back into their respective boxes so let me start with x um, x is 7 over 2 um, for y is 9 over 2 e is 19 over 2 and lastly B is 7 over 2 to confirm this you can go ahead and simplify all this you can see 7 over 2 plus 9 over 2 is nothing but 16 divided by 2 and 16 divided by 2 is 8 you can do for all of these boxes to see whether the statement is true or not Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.